All right, so there's Ross. I was afraid I wouldn't be able to see him. Let's give it up for the Ross man. He's, he's a guy who puts board in washboard. You ever wonder what that washboard would say if it could talk? I go from place to place with Ross, waiting in the dark for that magic moment when I shine in the spotlight while Ross sings and scratches me with his fingernails. No, wait, that's his balls. <laughs> some of you aren't really familiar with Ross's act, but that's okay, because he's got some work from when he was younger you can check out. He was in a movie in the 80s where his bike gets stolen, and he goes all the way to the Alamo to get it back. Um, I'd like to do my next joke in the style of Marilyn Monroe. Is that okay? I thought it might be. Okay. How many light bulbs? Wait. Okay. How many clones of Ross Day does it take to screw in a light bulb? I don't know. They haven't gotten that far with cloning yet. I told you girls weren't funny. <laughs> Roz is actually a really good guy to have to parties because he's so friendly. He's as friendly as a Labrador retriever puppy. And like a lab puppy, you might get too enthusiastic about the food and eat too much and then puke on your porch. But it's okay because when he gets excited, he forgets to chew it's easy to clean up. <laughs> but really, he's a nice guy. I feel like I'm forgetting to say something, but no. Uh, he's a nice guy. I've never heard anybody call him an ass, although his Indian name is, uh, I don't want to break this kid's bubble, but did somebody tell that jackass he could sing? <laughs> Don't you love Indian names? <laughs> They're like poetry. Uh, you've seen Ross's legs, right? He wears shorts a lot. He's got some good legs. They remind me of um, being in a convenience store at 2 a.m. You know when you're up at the counter, you're staring at the Slim Jims, and I'm like, I, I, I know I shouldn't, but those might go good with beer and I could use something leathery to chew on. I'm thinking about you. I don't know, it's hard to make fun of a man who's a parody of himself. He dresses like he wants to be taken seriously, but he acts like he wants to be taken for ice cream and then a carnival. I don't know, Ross. Did they have carnivals when you were little? <laughs> or was it just like boys with sticks shouting and calling all the girls whores? <laughs> I'm just assuming they had open mic night back then. Oh, oh, burn. I'm just assuming they had open mic night back then. G okay. Well, that's almost it for me. I want to thank you for letting me be here and I have one more thing to say. Happy traveling <laughs> to you. Happy traveling to you. Happy traveling Mr. Rossident. Happy traveling